jaundice is a result of buildup in the blood of the lilarubin, a yellow pigment that comes from the breakdown of older red blood cells. It's normal for the red blood cells to break down, although the lilarubin form doesn't normally cause jaundice because the liver will metabolize it, and then get rid of it in the gut. However, the newborn baby will often become jaundiced during the first few days due to the liver enzyme that metabolizes the lilarubin becoming relatively immature. Therefore, newborn babies will have more red blood cells than adults, and thus more will break down at any given time. There is a condition that's commonly referred to as breast milk jaundice, although no one knows what actually causes it. In order to diagnose it, the baby should be at least a week old. The baby should also be gaining well with breastfeeding alone, having lots of bowel movements with the passing of clean urine. In this type of setting, the baby has what is referred to as breast milk jaundice. On occasion, infections of the urine or an underfunctioning of the baby's thyroid gland, as well as other rare illnesses that may cause the same types of problems. Breast milk jaundice will peak at 10 to 21 days, although it can last for 2 to 3 months. Contrary to what you may think, breast milk jaundice is normal. Really, if at all ever, does breastfeeding need to be stopped for even a brief period of time? If the baby is doing well on breast milk, there is no reason at all to stop or supplement with a lactation aid, 